all how easy it is to make delicious barbecued meatballs for your holiday. This is the perfect recipe for your holiday. This is the recipe you need on your family's dinner table. Here's a lovely ingredient you're gonna need. You're gonna need some ground beef. I have some 80-20 ground beef and that's one pound. And I also have one pound of ground turkey. You can just use ground beef or ground turkey by itself. It's really up to you. You're gonna need a really interesting ingredient jelly you're gonna need grape jelly grape jelly really interesting ingredient right here you're gonna need one large egg and I have some fresh parsley I also am going to add the little smokies let me show you what they are these are the kind with the cheese in it you can leave that out if you want but when it's the holiday I like to use those smokies your favorite barbecue sauce this is the barbecue sauce that I like to combine together to make taste delicious you have the option to use crackers or breadcrumbs today I'm going to crumble up some crackers we have parmesan cheese salt pepper garlic and onion powder make sure your hands are impeccably clean let's get started with this amazing holiday recipe Gina Young style if you all didn't know this whole month of December Gina Young's gonna be showing you all some really delicious recipes that you could put on your dinner table for Christmas this is definitely a recipe you should do it's kind of like I consider this to be a finger food something that you could set a toothpicks alongside of it and everybody loves meatballs it's kind of like they'll put it on their plate and you know everybody's happy and it fills you up and they taste delicious okay so what we're gonna do really easy recipe we're gonna take Parmesan cheese anytime you make meatballs you must have Parmesan cheese to make them taste delicious you don't have to measure it just get some in there we're gonna crack one large egg just like so I always like to crack it into a separate bowl just to make sure it's nice and fresh and I also like to make sure that there are no eggshells next thing that we're gonna do you're gonna use breadcrumbs you can use a piece of regular bread if you want to crumble it up today I happen to have some uh, oyster crackers that I had left over from my chili that I made the other day I'm gonna crumble these babies up about a half a cup and this is going to be our filler for our meatballs. You don't need too much. Don't overwhelm it. Let's season up our meatballs. A little bit of pepper and salt. I, I, I really don't like that I said that backwards. Salt and pepper. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> if you say it backwards, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> We're going to do some onion powder. <laughs> and some garlic powder my husband has been known to say it backwards and uh yeah along. and i don't like along. it i'm coming along did y'all hear that <laughs> okay so now what we're gonna do you can put ketchup in but since i have um you know barbecue sauces go ahead and put about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce in there okay if you want to put a little bit of milk absolutely you can let's set this aside and we want to just take a small handful fresh parsley and we want to chop it up just like so and then it's time to roll our meatballs and it's really up to you to decide how big or how small do you want your meatballs for your holiday this is one thing that all of your guests are going to be looking for they're going to be some people like to call them sweet and sour meatballs you can call them barbecued meatballs i call them delicious everybody loves them okay let's get this chopped up and then we're going to make some meatballs so I'd like, before we mix this up, I'd like to talk about something really quickly. There's a couple ways you can make these. Um, these meatballs can be made in an air fryer, of course. I know a lot of you all are asking for air fryer recipes. You can make this recipe in the air fryer. And what I'm going to be doing today is I like to make up my meatballs, put them onto a cookie sheet like this, and throw them in the oven. You never have to turn them. They get cooked you know 360 around nice and, and and caramelized on the outside and they're always juicy and supple in the inside now if you don't want to throw them in the oven or your oven just is broke or something like that you can turn around and make up the meatballs and throw them right into your barbecue sauce and they can cook up that way each way is delicious okay so now here's what we're gonna do let's go right in with our hands just like so in this manner and the key is to not um, mix this too much 
And the purpose for not mixing it too much is because the meat would get tough. Grandma always said when she was making up a meatloaf, don't handle it too much. You handle it too much, it's going to be dry. And it's true. So basically, you just want to quickly get in there, mix up all of your ingredients, and make your loaf or your meatballs just like so. Everything's almost mixed up. It smells so good in here. I hope you're excited for this recipe. This is a must for the holidays. Make up your meatballs. I like to make them like party favor size like this so that if you wanted to have like a little cup, a paper cup with uh, toothpicks, uh, people can just use the toothpicks and get how many they want. Some people like to uh, place these onto a platter with the toothpicks already in them. And then they can just pick them up that way and put them onto their plate. So about this is the size. When you make up your meatballs, try your best. I'm not the good at this, the best at this. I can tell you to do it, but sometimes mine don't turn out all the same size. You want to make them the same size so they all cook at the same time. If you got big ones on your tray and little ones on your tray, well, the little ones will get done first and the big ones won't be done. You have to take the little ones off. So try your best to make them all the same size. Like I said, I, mine's never, it, it never works. Let's take a look at these two. Uh, well, you did okay, okay, Gina. All right, so listen, I'm going to make up a whole tray of barbecued meatballs, and we're going to get these into the oven, and when I come back, we need to address those little smokies that we're going to add. Take a look at our meatballs, and it's time to put them into the oven, 350 degrees, until they're cooked. Take a look. <laughs> and I, I pretty much managed to get them all the same size, so I'm happy with them. And listen, keep in mind, if you don't eat um, beef, you could make these out of ground turkey or ground chicken. Like, have fun with this recipe. If you like ground sausage, you can mix that in. Make them taste delicious. Don't be afraid to season. Let's get these into the oven. We're going to talk about the Smokies and how to make this amazing sauce that tastes so good. Time to make our sauce. You need one cup of grape jelly. I know, grape jelly, Gina, absolutely. It Listen, it is amazing. Give it that umami factor. Make them say, umami, mm, where did you get this recipe from? Well, you got it from Gina Young. Be sure to tell them. I'm gonna eyeball it because I know about what a cup looks like, okay? And then, so your favorite barbecue sauce. What barbecue sauce do you love? That's what you're gonna use, okay? Just like so. These are two beautiful barbecue sauces that I always love mixing together when I make my barbecued ribs. Open Pit is one of my childhood barbecue sauces that I love. So I'm going to get my whisk. We're going to whisk this up very well. In the meantime, between time, we need to talk about what's going to happen with the jelly. While this is cooking, sometimes while this is cooking, um, it, it gets kind of clumpy. If you just use your whisk and keep stirring, once it gets hot and bubbly, it will finally melt in those clumps of leaves, so don't worry about that. And whisk. Now, a lot of people like to use crock pots during the holiday. Absolutely, you could use a crock pot for this recipe and just let your meatballs just simmer in here. And like I said, you get that sweet and sour taste, the sour from your barbecue and the sweet taste from the jelly. It's like a match made in heaven. All right, look at this. Beautiful. Let's just let that simmer for a little bit, and I want to talk about the Smokies. Anytime I make barbecued meatballs, I always like to mix the Smokies in. When people see that they're Smokies, these, you know, these little sausages mixed in, they're like, oh, you know, it's like a surprise. It's so funny. When you see them go over to the dish and they say, oh, there's sausages in there too, and you see them grab about seven or eight or nine or ten out, then you can kind of giggle. Always have one or two packs mixed in. I don't put these in too early. If you put these in too early, they'll burst open. All your cheese will come out, right? Don't have to use the kind with cheese. You can use the beef kind, any kind you want. But what I like to do, once my meatballs have simmered, oh, I'd like to say, for a good half an hour, then you can mix these in. Just let everything simmer. Meatballs are out of the oven. Take a look, take a look. They're gorgeous. The whole house smells good. Okay, so now we just take them, and you're going to get that little bit of stuff in the bottom of your pan. Just try not to put it in your sauce, you know? All right, so we're going to gently place the meatballs 
right into the sauce, let them simmer for about, oh, let's say a good half an hour, and then you can put your Smokies in. You can put your Smokies on one side and have meatballs on the other side, or you can just mix them right in. When I come back, we're gonna do a taste test. I wanna say an amazing prayer, you get that first bite. Our meatloaf, or not meatloaf, sorta of, kinda of like meatloaf. <laughs> Our meatballs, they simmered for a half an hour. Let's go ahead and take Smokies if you want. You don't have to. If you want to, put them in the sauce. Oh my goodness. Here's where it gets interesting. Your guests have the option of barbecued little Smokies or barbecued meatballs, Gina Young style. Make you some. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look. Come on in. That's what I want for my holiday dinner table. If y'all enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, heck, tell the whole world what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. We've let them simmer for about 45 minutes. Take a look, look at it. So delicious, it smells so beautiful in here. Come on in, if you want a bite. Mmm, <laughs> This is right up my, oh, look how juicy. Oh, 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 drag it, just drag it through that gorgeous sauce. Okay, I'm going in. Hope it's not too hot. Mm, mm -hmm. Make you some Gina Young style. God bless. Good night. Mm.